So in this video, I want to talk to you about the ideal diet to follow um, when you're not detoxing or cleansing, okay? So a lot of people, there's a lot of confusion out there. There's a lot of diets out there, fad diets, I call them. Um, not because um, I, I think in a negative sense towards them, but because it's exactly what they are. And most of them are elimination diets. So the diet that you need to consume when you are living your life on a day-to-day -day basis um, is a diet, it's a raw vegan, high raw vegan diet, some cooked in there, but preferably high fruit, okay? That's in general what you got to follow. So it, when I say in general, I mean like I know we live in a world that's not perfect, especially if you're in the West. Um, and, and so the diet, if you keep it that way towards the high raw vegan fruit side, you're gonna, always going to do well. You don't have to complicate matters. Okay, here I have with me um, a mango, bananas, and um, a blackberry, okay? It's simple. And I'm showing you this because this is my lunch. So I go to the store, and rather than me try to figure out what I'm going to have for lunch, maybe have some a bad sandwich, a greasy sandwich, or fast food, I have these in my fridge, okay? So I don't complicate stuff. When I'm hungry, I'll have my banana, my mangoes, my dates. It doesn't matter what it is. I'll eat my fruits. And if I, I, I go out, maybe I'll have a, a big salad. Okay, I'll tell them to keep it raw. Um, and this is how you got to think. If you think that way, you always do well when it comes to natural healing because um, you're not complicating matters. When you start to add the complex stuff like complex cooking or recipes, etc., then you start to, to, to fail. But when you, in your mind you understand that, hey, I'm a high raw vegan, high fruit, some cooked alkaline vegan, cooked vegan foods, you'll be fine. So don't pressure yourself. Don't get confused with so much information out there. Just stick to that field because the fruits and veggies give you all the flavor noise, antioxidants, and that anti-inflammatory. This is very important to understand because when the body is inflamed or you eat um, in, in foods that, that have a lot of inflammation in it, you're going to have uh, issues. You're going to have um, blood sugar problems, cholesterol, all those things will be common because your body is highly inflamed. But when you're on the fruits and the veggies for the majority of, the, of your diet, uh, you're going to be avoiding that. Okay, so that's my recommendation to you. If you want to follow um, a diet that's consistent, uh, healthy, and keep you on the right path, forget about the bean 12 nonsense and the um, uh, vitamin D. Yeah, you can take them, but if the whole population in the West is deficient in B12, not just vegans, okay? And that's and, and so don't even bother with that, but fix your adrenal glands. And if you're concerned, of course, take some supplements for the B12 and the, the, the vitamin D. Um, I don't take them, even though I live in, in a cold climate as well, but you can, okay? So... High uh, raw vegan, high fruit, some cooked vegan. That's the principle you want to follow and you do very well.